Okay, today I'm going to be tying the rubber band caddis. Best part about this fly is it uses uh, three materials and very, very inexpensive, very easy. I uh, begin with a number 14 uh, emerger hook, uh, TMC 2457 would work out great. I uh, begin with that in the vise and I've taken some very um, light lead wire and wrapped, I, get, I think I got 10 wraps on here, uh, just to give it some weight because I'm not going to be using a bead. I'm using 6 aught black thread and I begin the thread in the back here creating a taper behind the weight so that I've got a gradual ramp from the hook shank up to the weight. I work that back a little bit and the first material is an ordinary rubber band. You have these around your house just snip, snip it into a, a snip the loop in half then cut on a bias, cut on an angle the, uh, the rubber and tie that in, tie it down tight. I'm using 6 out thread because I don't want it to break and I really do have to cinch down this rubber band kind of tight. Tying the rubber band back just so that it helps me taper into the lead weight. Now I can wrap forward, create a ramp or taper at the front end of the weight. Close off the gap of the eye there and let it hang. Stretch this rubber band out nice and tight and begin wrapping. Touching turns around the hook shank over the weight. Now the funny thing about rubber bands is they will degrade rather quickly when they're exposed to sunlight. So we got we got a cure for that as well to give you a little bit more durability. But look how this makes a very nicely segmented body as you wrap up the hook shank. As soon as I get uh, up over the weight, I'm going to tie it off. Now don't let go of the rubber band yet. Keep that tight for a moment. You want about three or four wraps of thread, tight wraps, before you dare let go of the rubber band and watch the whole thing unravel in front of you. Now that I think I got it cinched down there pretty good, I can stretch, snip the rubber band, and continue cinching that down. Okay, next material is black goose bite. I've peeled the goose bite off and I am tying that on, oops, one goose bite on underneath the fly. Let me get a little bit longer. I want that to extend a little bit past the eye. There we go. Cinch that down tight and snip off the tip. I'm using the hooky end of the bayet and using that as legs or claws of the caddis. I've got another bayet. I'm putting it on the other side. Again, towards the bottom go, cinch that down, and snip. Next is uh, black dubbing, just a buggy black dubbing. You can use Antron, you can use a natural fur, something with guard hairs in it. If you've got uh, dark colored hairs here, that might work as well. This happens to be a Antron uh, synthetic dubbing. Apply that to the thread, keep it thin, and wrap forward. Pull your claws out, make sure they don't get bound down. I think I got too much dubbing here, but let's see what we can do. Anytime you have too much dubbing, it's real easy. Just kind of work it down the thread and you can pull it off. Don't just wrap it on because it's on your thread. If it's too much, it's too much. There we go. So, boy. Whip finish. Three whips should do it. Slice away your thread. Now, fly's not done yet because this, although it looks great, 
will degrade rather rapidly and what will happen is the rubber band will just simply snap and unravel and you'll, be, you'll have an exposed hook shank. What I do then is take a clear nail polish uh, shell, I guess. Uh, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails is one. This happens to be a cheap version I picked up at the dollar store. And paint the rubber band portion, not the dubbing, but the rubber band. You need to coat all of the rubber. It'll give the fly a nice sheen, but it will also protect your fly from UV, give you a lot more durability out of it. Let that dry. We got a couple fibers. Cut away there. There we go. And there you have it. Rubber band caddis.